Okay, before I start tracing, I want to show you the difference in lines. One, we have a poly line, and this is what it does. See, it draws straight lines like this. Okay, now you go to Edit Polyline, you select it, and then you hit S for spline on your keyboard. You see what it did? It took those straight lines and it made a nice curved line. Now, if we click on that, it created one, two, three, four, five, six points. Okay, which is fine. Now, let's go to a um, spline. Now, the way, let's change the color so we could to see which is spline and which is polyline. Okay, a spline. Now, watch what it does. It goes from point to this point. Now, see it, what it's doing? It's like a rubber band. It's bending my line. Now, I want to go up. Okay, so a spline creates your curves as you go. And let's click on it. And it puts points 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 points along here. Okay, now the difference between my spline and my polyline are the number of points. Because the, comp the laser, if I'm drawing this to make laser cutting parts or a laser cutting file, the laser follows these points. It goes from this point to that point to that point to that point. So it's um, starting, stopping, starting, stopping, starting, stopping all along this line. Now, in the course of your drawing, you're going to do a lot of trimming. So, let's go to trim. Well, first of all, let's go to the polyline. Okay, again, it is one, two, three, four, five points. There, here, 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 and here. But if you trim this polyline, okay, let's trim off the edge of it right here. Now let's go back and look. See what it did? It added a whole bunch of points along this line, somewhere around like 30 of these points. So now what the laser is going to do. It starts, stops, starts, stops, starts, stops, all along this line. So this line takes like 10 times longer to cut than this line. And at $100 an hour, time is certainly important on how fast that laser is going to cut. Another point to keep in mind is, let's zoom out. And let's take a line. <clears throat> you always want to snap to the end of a line that you're drawing. Okay, so let's snap to the end of that polyline. Okay, and bring that line down. But when you zoom in, this is what happens. See this? It did not snap to the end of that line. Because these points are so close together, it chose the point that's in from the end of the line right here. So now when the laser goes up, it's going to stop here, it's going to go back, stop, and then go look for the next point. So let's look at that, what happened. Okay, hang on. See what it did? It selected the second point, not the first point. <clears throat> and the distance between these points is only three thousandth of an inch. So that's why when I'm drawing I never use polyline if I'm going to uh, make laser cut parts. Okay, so that's it. Okay, let's erase this now and go back to our drawing. Okay, let's zoom in at the bow. Okay, first things first. What we have here is a scarf between the keel, the stem, and the uh, apron. So I'm going to draw that first. Okay, I'm just going to trace right on top of it. 
like so. Now notice I've gone beyond my lines. That's because I'm going to uh, trim these later. <clears throat> okay, now over here, there's two scarves. There's one here, and there's one here. So I want to trace those too. Okay, I'm going to go to line. Now I'm going to start right on the edge of the line with these, because I'm going to snap to the ends of these. Okay, let's do the next one. Okay, here we go. Now, let's start drawing in the stem. Now for this stem, I'm going to use my spline and I'm going to snap to the intersection of my uh, keel right here, the bottom of the keel and the scarf joint. Now I'm going to follow the bottom and what I'm doing is I'm following right along the line for my stem here. Now see again, see how this bends like this? Okay. But by following the line, it's automatically giving me a nice curve. Okay, now I'm going to end it by snapping it to the end of that scarf. Okay, that's my first section. Go to my next section, same thing, spline, snap to the end of my scarf. Because this is so short, I'm just going to go to the center between the two scarves and snap to the end like that all right now we're moving up we have this long sweeping curve spline snap to the end up there and i'm going to start moving up now staying in the center of that line now where these uh, curves are tighter you want to make your points closer together because you see as I'm moving this okay it's only using my uh, first point and my second point as a reference and that's where it's moving so what I want to do as I go around this tighter curve I'm bringing my points closer together see now it's not moving as much Okay, let's keep going up, up, now let's pan down, and follow my line, all the way up, up, to there, and stop, right click, 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 and there it is, alright, now here's the thing, when, if I'm panning, or I'm zooming in, my uh, image disappears. See, watch. See, it disappeared. Comes back. Disappeared. So now you can see the stem that I traced here. Now we're going to go back, zoom in. Now we're going to do this line. And the reason I drew this scarf in here is because I'm going to go to spline, snap to the intersection. I want to snap right to that intersection here and then follow my line on up like so and I'm going to snap to the other side of that scarf there now what I made was the first piece of my stem I could actually take this now I'm going to copy it and just move it out so you can see it. Let's put it over here. And we're going to zoom in. See? This is the bottom of my stem. Now, it's the, now you can see this line is hanging out here. And we don't need this line at all. So get rid of it. And we're going to trim here. 
And there we have it. Let's put it in black so we can see it. Okay, that's how we drew the bottom of the stem. And when I uh, click on it, you can see the lasers just seeing one, two, three, four, five points. On this one, it's saying one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points. So it's going to cut really fast. Okay, that's it. So now let's zoom out, get rid of this. All right. And back to our drawing. Here's the second piece of the stem right here. So I'm going to go back to my spline, snap to the endpoint, snap to that scarf, follow my line up, and again snap to the scarf here. Okay, now let me see. We have another scarf here. Then we're going to come all the way up to this stem. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and finish drawing in this stem because it's kind of long and tedious job and boring to watch. So, so let me finish this up and then we'll pick it up later. So let's just zoom out. Okay, that's all for now. Coffee break.